Hey, what's up? Welcome to the second part of the tutorial. I'm Emil. We're going to add more elements like particles and optical flares. If you want to see the text effect and the texturing, please check the first tutorial. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you get all the latest videos. So this is our uh, text effect looks like. So it's looking good and we will add more elements to it. So uh, we're going to add particles effects so that uh, it gives a, a bit more feel in this trailer. So to do that, uh, we're going to take a new solid layer, which is here, layer, new, new solid, or you can press Control Y and uh, we'll keep it black. So we'll limit particle. Hit OK and then uh we will i uh, will go to effects and presets and search particle and here is our cc particle world we'll drag it and drop it here okay uh we'll solo this layer so that uh, we get to see uh, we only see this layer so to that to do that you need to click here as you can see okay so what we're going to do uh we'll go to the we, we'll go through the each section so firstly we'll go to producer uh then physics uh we'll we'll select direction axis okay and We'll keep the velocity uh, uh, point 60 and gravity uh, minus so that as you can see it's it's you know okay now okay and we're going to change the color color of it as as you can see it's, it's not nice it's looking really ugly so uh, we'll choose something from our text so here is the color dropper uh, it's up to you what kind of color you want uh, we're going to choose ours and this one okay and a particle should be faded sphere okay and I will reduce the birth size and depth size of it. Then we we will work on the uh, position of it. So I uh, will keep it here. Uh, so the particle uh, will start coming from here okay so we will bring it a bit down okay and uh, we want to spread this x-axis so there we go and y-axis also and give some 3d fill to it so we will also work on the z-axis Okay, let's see how it looks like. Uh, we're going to play it. Okay. 
uh, bot birth rate to uh, we will make it one okay uh, we'll play it again So to get the best setting uh, of your particle, you need to uh, continuously work on it, uh, tweak and play with the settings, okay, so that you get the best result. So right now, uh, I think this is fine for us. So uh, uh, we want it a bit slow and uh, tweaking uh, the whole setting, it will be complicated. So the easy process should be uh, slow it down. So how we can do it, we need to right click on it, then pre-compose, we will call it particle, comp, move, make sure you hit move all attributes into the new composition, okay, then right click on it, go to time, time stretch, uh, we want this very slow, so we'll, uh, Keep it 300. Let's see how it looks like. Uh, I think this is perfect. This this is what we're looking for. So now we will unsolo it so that we get everything. Okay, I think if uh, if there is you know some kind of light from the left side, then it will look much better. So we'll create uh, a light here. So to do that, you need to uh, create a new solid. Control Y. Uh, uh, we'll call it optical flare. okay then go to effect video copilot optical flares uh, this is a third pl party plugin but i believe you know most uh, most of the motion graphers should have it so make sure you download this plugin so we'll uh we'll there is a you know um, render mode we'll click on on black and uh, we will also uh, motion blur for the particle here and go to here so that we have you know some motion blur effect on it and here is our light so we want our light to be here and we'll go to the settings Uh, here's the flare options. Uh, we, we're going to change it. So uh, I'm, I'm going to go to the preset. See what kind of preset we have. I think this one will look good and and you can go through other settings also here is the other one I also like this one too okay let's uh, select this one no. okay let's select this one okay so 
so we will you know play with some of the settings here let's see how it looks like So what I want, I want this slide from here to here when the text will be moving like this. So right now uh, I want it. So it will start from here. So uh, I will just uh click on the stopwatch to animate uh this bird then uh hit u on your keyboard so that you can see the animation option uh then after okay and here is our text animation okay, i wanted to start it from here 20 frames then stop it here so it will be it will move something like this okay and i will easy is the both keyframes So here we'll, we will also uh, work on the uh, opacity of it. So we'll hit a stopwatch here and and zero here so that there is a flow in the animation. easy is then let's see and also i want to end uh, the flare here okay so as we do not need it after that so uh we, we here is our opacity We'll, we'll keyframe this section so we'll uh, hit this button which is add a keyframe then after that uh, we'll make it zero hit enter and this is zero so let's see how it looks like then we'll decide I think it's looking nice but uh, it is very fast so we need to slow it down a bit so select this key this keyframes okay now let's try uh, you know as be as you know visual effects and motion graphics is a thing so uh, there is nothing set you have to work on it you have to work on settings so that you get the best result and the result you want Let's see. I think it's looking nice. 
and if you want you can also create uh, other flare type of effects on it for example uh, you can go to new solid create background optical flare then go to optical flare go to options then uh, select one uh, effect from here for example this one I think this one here effects looks good we'll make something like this okay so we'll just you know drag this background layer and keep it here then we'll animate the position uh, so that we get you know some four seconds okay so here we'll uh, hit the stopwatch then you on your keyboard then go to three seconds or uh, four seconds for example four second Uh, we're uh, we're going to add a background light effect so you can add it uh, it's up to you so to do that you need to hit control Y then BG light uh, select this layer and bring it down and after that go to optical flares and we will we will check the options optical flares and it we're, we're looking for a plane effects uh not no shimmering okay so otherwise it will you know come in the video i think this one looks better okay and if you want you can also check you know other ones there are so many options So we're going to choose this this option. Uh, we can also uh, edit uh, all these parts here. You can hide any parts you want. Okay. So, for example, this one I don't I don't want it. You can remove it. let's see how it looks like it's, it's optional for you so if you want you can add it it might give a good feel there we go can you see okay i think it's looking nice and we're going to animate it So I want this light uh, moving from here to here. 
so uh, we'll you know uh, stop click the stopwatch in the position then animate it here and then hit you to see the keyframes <laughs> so we'll go to the keyframe assistant then hit easy is Let's see how it looks like. So I want the left background light a bit more slow, so we'll you know, select it then uh, fire some more time let's see how it looks like now so basically we're going to, uh, we will need only the four or five seconds of each uh, trailer sequence then we'll add it to build up our trailer What do you think? I think it's looking good. And if if you want, you can also uh, play with the colors. And there is evolution setting. You can work on it. And there is a flickering option. You can also uh, uh, work with this, which is you know speed. For example, speed is one. Amount I want is ten so that we have a flickering effect this small amount of flickering and this this is what i want and there is animation evolution Can you see? So we're going to animate this part also. Animation. So let's see. See, it's looking nice. And if you want, then we can also add a black, if uh, black transition and blur transition effect. And to do that, uh, we need to create a black color solid. Hit OK. So. We'll call it transition. Black, tra uh, black, yeah, black. We'll just call it black intro. Uh, we'll hit opacity. Uh, hit on your keyboard, or you can go from here. Okay, so he, I'm going to hit T. Then click on the stopwatch. Then after uh, ten frames. I will I want it to be zero. That's it. Keyframe is it is okay, let's see. 